Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. And this is Mark. Check her out. So you pretend to be like a fan of Hi guys, how are you doing? <laughs> Spicy food. So hi guys, how are you doing? Um, uh, today is the 21st of um, January 2016. It is um, Thursday. And it is, yeah, it's Thursday. And I am joined by Beth. Would you like to say hello to everyone? <laughs> She's currently struggling with um, her... Well basically the story is <laughs> I get medium spice, which is too spicy for me, but I like a little bit of the kit, so I have to like dampen it down with a little bit of herbs, so it's kind of like a good balance. <laughs> well, so basically she like, yeah, and it's not coming out. I've got my um, butterfly chicken and some salad because I'm trying to be healthy and it's very, very sad and like, I really want best garlic bread at the moment, but that. I wasn't going to get garlic bread because I like getting corn of the cup but then I know. Like corn the cup. And then she came back and as soon as she came out I was like, oh my god, I really wanted some garlic bread and Beth was like, I had to get garlic bread instead of corn of the cup and I was like, thanks. Because I don't like, I'm not a massive fan of chips. So just yeah, you need other sides, you've got your like rice. Anyway, today the point of this vlog is that we're off to see, um, not Nando. <laughs> no. Um, we're off to see Les Mis um, at the Queen's Theatre. Haven't seen it in about two years. And Beth somehow managed to get us really, really good seats. Like, <laughs> Um, we were planning to meet this week. Yep. I we said, oh, let's see a show. So I was just like, oh, let's see Lane Hits because Carrie Hope Fletcher is leaving. Mm -hmm. So um, I was just like, okay, this is gonna, I can never get to meet Lane Hits. I yeah. end up in the office every single time. So I was like, looking at, looking at tickets on. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good story, though. But, um, so I was looking for tickets, went on the Delphi Macintosh website, which is where you buy tickets now, and it was just like, okay, they got the £22 um, upper circle seats. But then I just googled cheap lame tickets, and a website came up, which is Cameron Macintosh presents It's a Gift. Ooh! So, um, I clicked on it, and they were like, oh, get them, um, like, a certain amount off, like, top of these free West End shows, which was lame is Phantom, and, um, Miss Saigon. Miss Saigon. So, um, yeah. Suddenly she texted me saying, at first she was like, oh, should we get like upper circle for 20 pounds or something else? I, I was about to text back saying, yeah, okay, that's fine. Then she texted me back and texted me again saying, actually we can get like tickets to the stores for like 40 pounds. I was like, oh my god, yes, we're doing that. And then somehow you finally managed to find like, what, second row or something? Yeah, so we were already at the stores and those were like, I um, messaged um, Sam a picture of the seating. Yeah. There was hardly any tickets left for tonight. I don't know how, so how, how we managed to get so lucky. lucky. You're very lucky. Um, so yeah, I, I've never sat so like close to the stage before. I've never seen it in the upper circle or those really cheap dress circle slits right at the side. Yeah, I think I once sat like at the back of the stalls but never like so close. Yeah, so I'm, but that's I'm, like the back of the stalls is restricted. Because of the, yeah, exactly. So I, I'm so excited. Like, And like Harry Hopper just leaving the show soon, so you know, we can see her again. Yeah. So, and I love her revenue, she's my favourite revenue show. But yeah, she'll like, take you along on the journey with me as always. So, it's a little bit later now. We're in front of the Queen's Theatre up there. Flame Miz looking absolutely beautiful. Um, I mean, I'm really excited. It's one of my favourite shows. You I'm love the show. Lay Mis is even one of my favourite shows. My favourite shows are like the depressing <laughs> ones. <Yeah. laughs> um, Lay Mis isn't even one of my favourite shows, but I do like it. And the fact that like we're so close, I think it make a big difference. Yeah, because like I've never actually seen it where I've been able to see facial expressions. I know facial expressions. expressions. It's kind of freezing, so I'm gonna go inside really quickly. But yeah, let's go. Come along. <laughs> Come along, indeed. Right, which way are we going? Yeah. Okay. Oh, because she wanted to tell me. Is she even on though? Yeah, she's on. I can't even see her name. Oh, there she is. Let's carry her picture. Um, who's your friend? I don't even know who this cast is. I don't even know anything about this cast. Um, this is the cast board. I wish they'd like say who are, um, what role everyone was playing. But um, it's just like all the people in the cast. Like, like, huh? Oh, okay. Anyway, I'm excited. Let's go. Also, how cool is this little chandelier thing? It's not even little, I don't know why I'm saying it's little, it's quite big. But I like the Queen's Theatre. I very rarely come to the theatre, but it's my theatre. Now it's it's so not a bad view. I know being so like we're literally pretty much at the front of the theatre. At the moment, that's just like crazy. Um, this is the stage view that we have. Um, lovely chandelier on top over there. 
um, find who's playing Jean Valjean. Rachel and Go is um, uh, Fontaine. Yeah, because we're um, Rachel's kind of the program. <laughs> I was just that I forgot Rachel and Go is Fontaine. Yeah, I think she's so good as Gigi. She was fantastic in um, Miss Saigon, so I'm excited to see her in this. Um, Let's see who Jean Valjean is. Yeah, see, that's the fellow I always see as. Yeah, I think that we I saw him last time as well. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, is it not a Jean Valjean? It should be. Peter Lockyer. Actually, that sounds familiar. What's he doing? Was he from Phantom or something? Oh, he's from Broadway. Is he? Oh, okay. That's cool. Um, he's American. I thought he was American. I think he's pretty good. Do. <laughs> he actually does know for a Jean Valjean. That's not what. Let me just give it a second. Come on, camera. He does look quite, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it. Um, so yeah, I'm just very, very excited. I'm, it's literally probably the most excited I've ever been for the name is. Um, and it's our tickets. I'm so happy. Um, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'll probably speak to you, update you in the interval. And yeah. So it's the interval, guys. And um, so far it's been amazing. I think being so close to the stage, which I mean, literally, like, so close, really helps. Like, it's probably the most engaging the show's been for me, anyway, because I, I love the music in Lame Is, and I realise that it's like a sunset musical. But I really enjoy the music. Like, I, I can listen to music all day and I love it. I just don't enjoy watching it as much as many other people do. Because love it. But um, I think so far it's probably one of my favourite times seeing Lame Is, and I mean, the cast is great. We had actually had an understudy for That's alright, no worries. <laughs> Um, we actually had another study for um, uh, Fontaine, so Rachel Ango is not on, so that's okay, the other study was really good. Um, maybe I'll come back and see Rachel Ango another time, but yeah, it's been really good so far. And Beth has just come back from the toilet, hi. <laughs> How are you finding it so far, yo? I love it. It's, it's so good seeing it from this close. It really is. Yeah, and the cast are amazing. I love the other study Fontaine. I, was just, I just said that, yeah, she's really, really good, yeah. 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 So it doesn't matter that we can see Rachel Ango. Plus she's amazing. For the first time, like, do you it's know actually what? a Fontaine that looks like Cosette. Yeah, do you, do you have a program? Do you know what her name is? Can you please look? Okay. Just because, you know. Like, You've got the understudy Fontaine and, and also Tenardi. Is it Mrs. Tenardi or Mr. Tenardi? Mr. Tenardi. Yeah, because the one that usually plays it used to be in East End. Oh, okay. He's funny as well. He's really funny. The understudy Mr. Tenardi, eh? Uh, right, the understudy for... Jess Amy Stoddart. Okay. That's that's the other city fun team. And yeah, she's fantastic. Really, really good. I oh my god, I love the entourage. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd say something like that. And his that. voice. His voice is amazing. His voice is incredibly amazing. Um, I've, yeah. seen, I've seen the Marius quite a few times. Yeah, I think I've seen this is my the second time seeing you. It's good. I mean, I've seen those Marius. I've seen like... From Nick Jonas to like Gareth Gates, who I really love, by the way. I didn't really like Nick Jonas. Well, I've seen loads of like, loads of music. I've not seen any. I've not seen Nick Jonas and I've seen Gareth Gates. So I've always, I've seen him a lot. Yeah. Um, I saw one. Do you know who I saw? The other guy who was in this guy who like, oh, what's his name? And what's his name? Alistair Bramber. I saw him Aww. once, like ages ago, years ago. See, because like when I first saw this show, which years and years ago, before it became popular Way again. Before, so I yeah. Really remember. Aww. Um. So yeah, I can't wait for that too. Carrie Huffman is amazing. I can't wait for Ramayo. Um uh, It's just basically for people that are facial expressions. Everyone's like being so. We always get goosebumps during one day more. I know. And during stars, actually. You love stars. Got, See, stars yeah, isn't one of my favourite songs, it is but one I. Of my favorite songs. Yeah. But it's not anyone sounds good compared to Russell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like Russell Crowe in the film. His voice might not be the best, but I do like his acting. Okay. Okay, his acting's good. I yeah. give him that. But. Thanks. It's like one of my favourite songs. I know, his voice to be well. fair, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, we'll probably talk to you after the show. Hi guys, I'm here with Carrie. Hi. In the show as Hello, yes, She's amazing. I am. Sorry, I almost held your hand then. <laughs> I'm doing a handshake, right, why not? <laughs> How many more round weeks have we got in the show? Uh, I leave on February 13th. So okay, so not three long Three and a half weeks? Yeah. Come, yeah, and, come and see her before she leaves, because she's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. So, nice to meet you. You too. No worries. And I am home now, as always, with the Tsum Tsums in the background. And I'm actually wearing a Disney top today, somehow. I don't know if it was the most appropriate thing to wear to Les Mis, but, you know, I just love wearing Disney stuff. Anyway, um, the show tonight was really good. Uh, it had been... Um, nearly two years I think since I last saw Les Mis. I last saw it in May of 2014 so nearly two years um, and yeah it's good to see it again um, it, you know Les Mis is always going to be one of those shows that I don't I don't dislike of course I like the show but I don't love it it's one of those shows that I just I don't 
love I, I don't feel like i love it as much as everybody else seems to basically everyone's like, always says oh my god lame is the best show ever it's amazing i love it and from the first time i saw it and i've seen it quite a few times i even saw it um on the uk tour at the barbican i think it was yeah um so i've seen it quite a few times I've seen the film and stuff and there's just something about it that just doesn't connect with me and so because of that i i don't it's not one of my favorite shows however i i can appreciate it as an amazing musical like i understand why everyone loves it I personally just can't really connect with any of the characters much to be able to love it and enjoy it as much as everybody else. Anyway, tonight's show was great. Uh, yeah, it was, I think, definitely being so close to the stage and being able to see facial expressions and stuff and um, just, like, feeling a part of the show in a way made it more exciting for me because normally there are bits in the show that I find quite boring. Um, again, this is my own fault, just kind of me not being able to relate to the show much and it's quite a dark show and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, uh, it was good. The cast was great. Uh, in fact, everyone was great. Uh, so I just want to go through the list of the cast because... Why not? So John Vajon was played by Peter Luckier, I think. He was fantastic, great voice, great acting, brilliant. Javette was played by Jeremy Saccombe. Uh, Fontaine was played by uh, an understudy and uh, she was called uh, Jessami Stoddart. And I really hope I pronounced that right. She was really, really good. Um, like, at first I was a bit like, oh, it would have been nice to see Rachel Anger, but it doesn't matter because she was fantastic. Um, uh, Tenardier actually had an understudy for Tenardier. Uh, Mr. Tenardier was played by Adam Pearce and... Oh my god, he was hilarious. Like, if you hadn't seen the show before, if I hadn't known that it was an understudy, I would not have guessed that he was an understudy, like, because he was just hilarious, so brilliant, and he had great chemistry with uh, Madame Tenardier, played by Katie Sacombe. Um, Eponine was, of course, played by Carrie Fletcher, or Carrie Hope Fletcher. Um, she was great. It was my second time seeing her, and I just, I just really love her. I love her portrayal of the role. I've seen quite a lot of different um, uh, actresses play Eponine, and uh carrie's by far my favorite um yeah for the first time when i saw carrie for the first time uh, which was in 2014 i actually started to actually genuinely care about carrie's i mean sorry eponine's character which is something that i'd never really done before and that's just i think to do with um carrie's acting she just acts in a way that makes me really feel for her uh and that's yeah i really liked her because of that especially because like i said my history with limbs is that i've just never really been able to connect with the characters much so that was really great her voice was amazing I, i'm just glad i got to see her one last time before she leaves um yeah, in February next month. Um, also, it was nice to meet her again um, at the stage show afterwards. Um, it's funny because I actually made a haul video about um, my opinions on Carrie's Eponine uh, when I first saw her. Um, it's, it's called, I think, um, Carrie Hope Fletcher as Eponine or something like that. It's on my channel. I'll put the link down below as well if you want to check it out. Uh, but, you know, I'll go more in depth as to why I really like her portrayal. Um, and funnily enough, she actually commented on that video because obviously everyone knows Carrie's a YouTuber as well. And um, somehow she found a video. I didn't send it to her or anything. But somehow she found it like a few months after I posted it and just commented on it, which is really nice of her. Um, so she was very happy that I um, liked her portrayal. Anyway, um, Andre was played by Bradley Jaden. Uh, Beth thought he was fit. Um, and to be honest, after seeing him in Act 2, I have to agree, he is very, very good looking, very handsome, has a great voice, great acting, just uh, genuinely, generally, sorry, a uh, great uh, performer. I enjoyed his performance. And then Cosette was played by Zoe Doano, I believe, I think that's how you pronounce her name, so her name, sorry, um, sorry if I did it wrong, but yeah, she was also very, very good. Um, all in all, it was a great cast, great night, uh, I enjoyed it, I'm glad I got to go and have such good seats, so thank you to Beth for being able to get those tickets somehow uh, for quite a decent price. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. My hand, my arm is just like hurting for, yeah, anyway. Um, oh, there's all left in the background. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Wow, this arm is like, I don't like this. I, I, don't, I don't like holding this camera with my left arm, guys. It's all about all the distractions, by the way. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Um, leave comments down below and stuff if you want about the show, if you've seen the show, if you've seen this cast, what you think of it, if you want to see Les Mis. Uh, and yeah, thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you next time. Bye.